Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Welcome to another metal detecting adventure on a crisp blue sky after a week of rain. Thanks for joining me on this uh, metal detecting adventure. There's a field just behind me which I haven't really touched much on and I'm going to give it a waz over with a new program. Today I'm going to be testing out Gary's XP Dias new program, Sonar. Sonar is good for stubble and I've got stubble so we're going to give it a go now. The Sonar is based on the deep program number six. I've also saved another Sonar copy using the platform number nine hot just in case we come across some pesky coke. If you're coke free, use the deep as a platform. If you've got a lot of coke, use number nine hot as a platform for sonar. I'll put all the settings for sonar down in the description. I'm just gonna get kitted up, get out there and see what we can find. Thanks for joining me. Just before I get stuck in, I'd like to thank you, yes, you. New subscribers of Suffolk Sefter, for which I've had many and I truly appreciate your support and your names will scroll from bottom to top at the end of the video, so don't you go away. Just want to give you the heads up, on the run up to Christmas, Suffolk Sifter, we'll be doing a few draws and competitions for a few nice little goodies, some of which are XP Dias goodies. A nice XP Dias t-shirt, very groovy XP Dias, baseball cap, nice XP Dias polo shirt. Do you get the drift? And finally, but not exclusively, because there will be some other stuff, non-XP related, a very good XP waterproof remote case with lanyard. So all good. Keep your eyes open, folks. There will be a competition announced in the next few days on how you can enter to win one of these goodies. There'll also be some turtle finds cases and a Suffolk Sifter t-shirt. Keep your peepers open and I'll let you know as soon as it goes live. Righty ho, let's crack into it. Um, using version 4.1 standard 11 inch coil and I've got Gary's sonar. So we're going to go straight into it. I've got no idea what the tone's going to be like and we'll see how we get on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, see you at the next hole with something reasonably good and Thanks for joining me. Righty, well I've been picking up really minute pieces of uh, metal and the, the obligatory old type shotgun end, cartridge end. This is what it sounds like, you find something reasonably. It's about 71. I'm using the, um, not the horseshoe screen just because I'm just setting my ways really, but uh, the default on um, standard sonar is uh, the XY, but I haven't looked at this, so <coughs> could be another shotgun in, but it's a little bit low for that. It's a 71. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Your friend of mine, aluminium, yum, 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 yum. Well, I had a very, very ghostly, nice, crisp signal. Dug down, dug down, dug down. I reckon that's a good, well, I was getting down for about 10 inches. And this popped up. Well, I thought, well, it was a, just a tile or something. Why is that giving me a signal? But it just looks a bit weird. Um, looks like, not a pattern, but looks almost skin-like there's definite rim to it on the other side it sort of looked like there's some black at the top and I just wonder whether that is sort of like I don't know lead lead or something because and that gives you a rubbish signal now it's up it just looks uh, a bit weird anybody got any ideas I don't know but there's definitely something's been applied there black I know with the edge of it there, there, on the outside perhaps, get curved slightly in, I don't know. I'll hand it over to you, wise old owls. 
Okay, back. I'll just put it back on the XY screen just to uh, see how Gary intended. You've got to bear in mind that the original sonar, based on Program 60, is the V2 filters. There's a 72 there. Just thought I'd give it a dig because there's not a heck of a lot coming up and it's very, very clay. I'm going to get moon boots on. So whatever it is, I think. Should be out. Well, oh, we're getting very, very small here now. <laughs> well, whatever it is, it's round, but it's minute. Well, I don't think it's a coin that's sort of convex on one side. Got all excited there for a minute. No, it's very round. Don't it's anything special, but we'll clean it up when we get back. Just a couple of paces from the uh, the minuteness is a sort of 49.51. There's nothing on the XY screen. Let me just flip this to ultimate, my old favourite. That's giving me a sort of 49.51, same sort of a number so back to the sonar so 5054 i'll go the sonar iron which is based on uh, the hot program same sort of numbers so go back to the sonar and we'll just dig it and see what happens because I'm, I'm new to sonar, it's, it's uh, it seems to be quite good at finding very, very small things. That last find was, I must know more than about four or five mil diameter, and it was about eight inches down, so. And, as usual, oh, I'm going to say we lost it, but. Just up there. Let's see if there's any more foil. Seems to be quite foily this ground. I think I flicked it out. Yeah, I flicked it out in the end. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a a random piece of metal, really. I've just got an 82 down now. Just stuck the spade in. I thought, well, I can see it, so there's no point digging it. It's just here, nothing spectacular, just a very plain four-hole button. What I can say about sonar, it's incredibly good at finding very, very, very small things. <laughs> Any fragments, it picks them up with ease. I don't believe this, I've got a banging 81 and... Uh, well, you know, I had to dig, 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 and dig. It's a really, really lively signal, and that's that's about two or three inches deeper than the probe. And you know, I thought, well, it's going to be a bit of a plough or something. It's going to be something really big. But yeah, eighty-one. Not a coin. It's just a little buckle. But the depth. The depth unreal on sonar. So there you go. If you're prepared to dig, you can find stuff. Okay, this is 87. That's repeatable. Let's see what we've got here. It's actually coming up on the XY screen from bottom left to top right. So in theory, Shouldn't be rubbish. The problem I'm having is most of me dirt sticks on the spade now. So and you get caught out because your find is in the dirt on the spade. 
Right, it's in there. Let's see what rubbish we've got here, shall we? excited I think it's just a button it's a very very thin button you can just see on the back or you might not be able to see a little folded over eye uh, it's probably been hit it's sort of dished which is probably how it was not meant to be but there is some red detail on there, whether that's just the way it's corroded or it may just be, and may just been meant to be red. So that was about, no, only about two or three inches down. Okay, I've got no numbers on this one. That was just flicked up 67. Nice repeatable in that there clod. Gonna be the last handful of pickup, isn't it? You know the score. Or well, you just won't be able to find it. Okay, so let's see it. Yeah. Thought it's gonna be a shotgun in, but it's not. It's a button. It doesn't look that damaged actually. The eye has been squashed at the back. But there's some good detail on it. There's a crown. Got a feeling this is a GPO button. To give it a spray and I'll be back with you. It's difficult to get the uh, dirt off, but from what I can make out, it looks like a GPO button. But I'll have to confirm that when I get home. But there you go, that was around about four inches deep and a banging signal. There's a 91, 92 in that clod. I suppose it's about four inches. Not making much of a line on the XY screen. Um, oh, well, honey hush. Could this be the first coin? Well, it is indeed a coin. Uh, quite toasty. I think I can see Britannia, but goodness knows what's on the other side of it. I'll just give it a quick spritz and I'll get back to you. Not even with my eyes on, I can see what it is. I can just see Britannia on one side, but there is a head. Uh, if I had to guess, Probably looking to the right. No, on the scale of toastiness, one to ten, that's probably nine. It's uh, pretty unideable. Unide we'll see when we get back and blow a picture up, but I think it's probably a, I don't know, half penny. Well, I hope this is about four inches down. It's a nice repeatable 84. Well, I don't know what it is. First instinct was like a little weight. It's got like a little um, top hat on, but it doesn't really weigh much. Oops. So I don't know. Open to suggestions, please. I'll just run along this um, tree line. Had an 88, about six inches. Resigned myself for, to it being a shot end but it isn't. And I thought, well, maybe it's a button because of that bit there, but it's not raised. It's looked like us. A... It's got writing all the way around it. Leave me the glasses on. I can't really make it out. But maybe a coin. It's been hit by something. It's got an edge round it, a raised edge. So I'm, I'm tending towards coin, but unfortunately, I think there's a date there, I can't see it. It'll need to be washed when I get back, but not a shotty, not a button, maybe a coin. Well, alas, my time is up and I'm just 
just well as I haven't done this field much I'm just going the outsides so I'm just walking back there in the truck I think is well over there somewhere anyway I've got a nice loud 91 and it's a coin but it's very very light now I had to get my glasses on now it's 1944 and there's probably George on the back but there's like a galleon and it says half I believe penny so I think it's half penny nothing out of the ordinary strange piece of well, it could be pottery or tile I'm not sure really and the usual scrap um, and weird stuff UFOs buttons a uh, little buckle there and these are my coins that's a very light one which I think is half a penny but it's got some sort of galleon thing on the back we'll have to look into that GPO button and a little I think a little decorative button which had some red on it in its previous life so if you're prepared to dig deep and very small targets then give sonar on the uh, the v2 filters on uh, deep based on deep program a whirl i usually use ultimate i'm going to keep the sonar beside that so i've got the best of both worlds just had a, a couple of hours on that field with uh, gary's sonar what do i think of sonar yeah i think that's got some miles in it i think i'd use it again if you're going to use sonar I've been using it on the based on the the deep the number six program and just prepare yourself to dig deep and to find teeny weeny weeny stuff because I've been digging a lot deeper on sonar and finding just teeny things so it does work obviously you've got to walk over the good stuff to find it but you know it's a good test I'm going to keep it in my program so if you've got a spare slot and you want something to sit beside Gary's Ultimate, then I recommend using Gary's sonar on the deep program based on number six. I'll give it a bit more testing when I've got some more time. Thanks ever so much for joining me. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and you've got to hit the bell else you won't get the notifications. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you next time.